How to survive losing a job. Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday, a weekly video series where I share stories with you that you can use to make your messages connect. Today's story is from an article titled Beth Coombs Talk on How to Survive Losing Your Job. It was published in the year 2019 in a publication called Mary Claire. The article is about Beth Coombs Talk, who was the former vice chair at GE. In fact, the first female vice chair at GE. She had a super strong portfolio, which included Silicon Valley innovations, lighting, sales, and marketing. She was a powerful person with an amazingly powerful role, so powerful that her position came with chief of staff. She would start meetings at 6.30 a.m. in her car. She spoke at events in Davos. She hosted panels. Put simply, she was a role model corporate professional for many. And then came late 2017, when a new CEO took over and called Beth Coombstock into his office and said, I'm going to move forward and you're not going to be here. She says that even though I wasn't really surprised, I said to myself, really? I laughed and I said, really? Then she says that the news hadn't been publicized. So I gathered myself, walked out of the office, went to a park nearby, sat on a bench, called my husband and said, Can you believe it? This is really happening. And then she says, I sat there and I cried. 31st of December 2017 was her last day in her role. In January, she woke up to no role, nowhere to go, nothing on the to-do list. She says, I was almost going to have a panic attack. I didn't know what to do with myself. She had already written a book So she thought that maybe I should start working on the publicity of the book. So she contacted the marketing agencies who she used to work with at GE. She says, but I wasn't a priority. And she says, when I was at GE, they would move mountains, but I was not a priority anymore. The friends I thought were actually work friends. And one of my friends took me for a cocktail party and just before entering said, how shall I introduce you? I can't just say you're Beth Coombstock. And she says, but I am Beth Coombstock. And then the article arrives at a place where she says one of the most wonderful lines in this article. She says that I was never a networker. I had none. No matter where you are in your career, try to make sure you're developing your own story. She said that I had a voice corporate voice for so long, but still had to work really hard at developing my own network. Eventually, Beth Coombstock did get back onto a very busy schedule and found her path. Today, when recruiters call her and say to her, do you want to take this corporate job? She says, no, thank you. And when friends ask her about the next career move, she says, I am just me. Maybe I'm the beginner. I'm starting over again. In other words, I'm developing my own story. What's the point of this story? The point of the story is exactly in the line that she said, no matter where you are in your career, try to make sure you're developing your own story. Stay storied. I will see you here next Saturday with another story.